Natural snow has been scarce in the east early this season, so the snowmakers have had to get things started. Here at Sunday River in Maine, they opened on October 22nd, and they were the first resort in the country to do so. They've made snow here more than 20 days since then. They now have more open terrain than any resort in the east. Nighttime skiing and riding will resume here in a couple of weeks during Winterfest weekend from the 17th through the 19th. The midweek rain has been replaced by much colder air and the snowmakers will now take full advantage. Saddleback will have no trouble opening next weekend. More runs will open this weekend here at Sunday River where the 11th annual Santa Sunday will be held. Shawnee Peak and Mount Abram will almost certainly be open by next Saturday and Lost Valley will follow suit the following weekend. In New Hampshire, Sunapee will have top to bottom terrain open this Saturday. Pat's Peak and Gunstock are both trying to open this weekend. You can get some early season turns in at Cannon, Loon or Waterville Valley. Wildcat will put 60 new snow guns to good use in the next week. King Pine will open next Saturday. Cranmore season is underway and that includes the mountain coaster. Bretton Woods and Jay Peak will pick up some natural snow the next few days, as will Killington. Out west, early season snow has been plentiful at Jackson Hole. Sun Valley and Telluride need another storm to shift into a different gear. Snowbird and Alta have already had 100 inches of natural snow. Park City is also shaping up nicely for the upcoming holidays. This weekend, the snow guns will be firing from Quebec to North Carolina, so don't forget your goggles. I'm Herb Stevens, a skiing weatherman.